Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hello, welcome. My name is Jessica. Today I'm going to be trying on and reviewing an athletic wear brand called Holara. I've been somewhat familiar with this brand for a while. I've seen them around the internet on Facebook ads here and there, and I've been curious because they sell really cute athletic wear at a very affordable price point. And so when they reached out and offered to send me some pieces in exchange for a video, I said, you know what? Yes, because I want to try your clothes out. So big thanks to Holara for sending me over the pieces for today's haul. But of course, you guys know, I always give you my honest thoughts and opinions. If you're interested in anything I'm going to share with you in this video, as always, my links will be down in the description box for you in order of appearance. And I'll also put the size that I got in that piece as well as my normal sizing information. But just to start this video off, every single thing that I'm going to show you is in a size small. I took a, that is what their size chart suggested to me. So without further ado, let's try on some Halara, shall we? This first set I am just, I'm loving. I love, first of all, these leggings. Can we talk about how shiny they are? They're so much fun. I was really skeptical about these when I ordered them. Um, I didn't know if they were really gonna look like how they looked online, but they look just as shiny in person as they do in the product photos. So much fun. I believe they also make these in like a black shiny version, but to me, it's all about the blue. So if you wanna like really stand out of the gym, these yoga pants are definitely the way to go. I paired it with this blue little, I guess they call this a sports bra. Uh, I liked the blue on blue look together, but I would not say that this is going to work well for me as a sports bra. If you've got like a smaller cup size, then I think you can definitely get away with it, but I do not find it to be at all supportive for any kind of impact workout. So definitely no running or jumping in this. It just doesn't have that kind of support, but it does have a little like built in shelf bra inside of it that I think for very low impact things like yoga or Pilates or maybe strength training, uh, walking, those kind of activities, I could definitely see myself wearing it. But I think for me, I'm gonna use this more as just a cute crop top in the summertime. I love how the back is really low and that little twist detail, it's very minimal in the back. Um, and it's also very comfortable. Now, all of the tops from Halara have little like cups that they put inside of them. So I'm probably gonna remove all of those because I don't know about you, but having those little cups in there is so annoying. Please, someone comment down. There has to be maybe someone out there who likes them. If you like them, please let me know. But I just think if you wear them the first time, it looks fine. But once you wash them, the little cups get all like twisted up inside and you gotta like stick your finger in there and like finagle them to be flat again. And then they just never, they never look right, at least to me. So I usually just toss them out of both of these pieces. They're both really, really soft and they feel really good on. I got a size small on the bottom and then the top is also a small, typically, I would maybe think that I would wear a medium, but I got small because I wanted it to fit a little bit more snug to add just a little bit more layer of support to the girls. And I think that was the right call. So it's up to you, but if you are a little bit chestier, but you have like a 34 or a 32 um, band size, then I would recommend maybe going small just to give yourself that little bit more compression and support there. Also, I have to shout out my new sneakers that I will be wearing with every single outfit in this video. I got these for Christmas. I just have to show you. I was very much in need of a good training shoe. And these are the Nike Metcon 8s, uh, which are good cross training shoes. So they're really nice and flat. They don't have a whole lot of cushion on the bottom, which I have learned is better when you're doing strength training to not have like really cushy bottomed sneakers because you want your feet to have as much groundedness and contact with the ground as possible, especially if you're lifting heavy. Um, that gives you more stability. It's actually better for your joints. Um, but I have jogged in these and they're still pretty comfortable. So I love these so much. These are so cute. This is like the pink color. Um, and they're so much fun. I can see myself wearing these just with outfits and stuff too. The thing that I think is brilliant about these is they have this thing called lock access for your laces. So you tie your laces here. This is a Velcro and you just Velcro it to the tongue of the shoe and it holds your laces. And even if your laces come untied, it kind of still holds them there. So it prevents you know, possibly tripping and all that jazz, but it also kind of prevents your shoelaces when they come untied, like getting on the ground, getting dirty. I just think this is such a brilliant design feature that I've never seen before. So kudos Nike, but look at just the cool like texture and stuff. Like it's such a rad sneaker. Um, anyway, they have a bunch of different colors of this. You don't have to get the pink, but I just thought this was like Barbie vibes and I'm obsessed. Oh, can I just say I am blown away by how just comfortable and buttery soft all the fabrics are that I have tried from this brand. 
it's so nice. So this is another fun set. It doesn't exactly match, but I thought it was like kind of a fun, like in the same tone family, starting with these biker shorts. Oh my God. When I tell you these are the softest, like athletic wear pants I have put on. I'm not joking. They feel so good. I'm wearing a small in them. They fit true to size. They have like a tiny bit of compression, but not like a whole lot. I kind of like my active wear to have a little bit more compression in them. Like I want to be like, you know, but they're not bad. And I love again, like the previous pair of yoga pants, they have that sort of split in the front. So that sort of just brings your eye in and it kind of just makes your waist look really small. And these have a little contrast though. So whereas the other one, it was the same color. This has that little contrast of like the mauve pink to sort of contrast with this dark sort of maroon red, which is so pretty. Then pairing it with this little crop top, which again, they kind of classify as somewhat as a sports bra. Same with the last one. This one maybe has a little bit more support feeling in it just because it has more fabric and stuff going on than the other one. But again, I wouldn't recommend this for really high intense workouts if you have anything above like an A or a B cup, just because like it's not going to hold things. But low intensity workouts, yoga, Pilates, walking, all that good stuff. It can definitely work. And again, I think it also just looks really cute as a crop top. I know I'm going to wear these so much this summer with like jean shorts and skirts because they're in really cute colors. I like the style. Like this one has that like nice crisscross in the back. It just feels very feminine and it just, it feels so good on. And I love that it's a cute like top that I don't necessarily have to wear a bra with. And I can have this sort of backless situation, somewhat backless situation, I guess I should say, and kind of use it as active wear, but then also utilize it in other ways, like when I'm just out and about and it's really, really comfortable. So this is definitely a really cute set and I'm really obsessed with this top. I just love the crisscross in the back. I think it is so pretty. If you're enjoying this video, I would love it if you would just take two seconds and hit that red subscribe button. I upload two to three times per week and I love sharing affordable fashion hauls, styling how-to videos, vlogs, travel, all that good stuff. So if you love to live your most chic and fabulous life without breaking the bank, you definitely want to hit that subscribe button and stick around for more videos. Videos. Whether or not you're subscribed or not, give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out tremendously in the YouTube algorithm to be discovered by more people who may enjoy my videos just like you. Okay, let's get back to the haul. So I decided to try out one of their dresses and I'm a little disappointed because I just assumed that it was going to be one of those activewear dresses that has the little biker shorts built in underneath and it is not. So I think what I'm going to do is probably just wear some of my little short biker shorts under because it feels like an active wear dress, like something that I could go play tennis in or go play golf or just run around, do errands and things like that and just be more comfortable. But with the length that it is, I mean, it's, it's short, but it's not like shorter than what I would wear. I just would feel more comfortable to have the little biker shorts under. So just, you know, something to be aware of. I guess I just assumed because it's an activewear company that all their dresses would have that aspect to them and they do not. So just make sure you pay attention when you're looking through the different product pages. I think when they do have the biker shorts, the model is kind of like pulling the skirt up so that you can see the shorts underneath. And if you don't see that in the pictures, then it probably is just a dress. Uh, but it is really comfortable. I got this in a small, which I think that was the right size. It does feel a little bit snug up here and on my back, but again, not in an uncomfortable way. And I kind of like that feeling because it does make everything feel very secure and supported because obviously you can't wear a bra with this because the back is all strappy and open. So to me, I like it to feel a little bit on the tighter side just so that I know everything feels secure, but all in all a great dress and yeah, you just have to wear it with your own little shorts underneath. I just, that's so crazy. Like, why wouldn't they make it with the shorts? And I also think it's kind of strange that it doesn't even have pockets. Like, come on, this is like clothes that are supposed to, you know, get you out and moving around. So anyway, it's still a really cute dress. This top, let's talk about this first. This is so cute, but it was such a struggle to get into because it's like, you got to get your head through the halter top and then you've got like this weird off the shoulder situation and long sleeves, all of it, but it's on now and I love it. So this is definitely not something that I would really ever wear to do any kind of serious workout. I probably wouldn't even wear it to do Pilates or yoga just because it feels 
a little bit more complicated to wear. Now, that being said, I am not afraid of wearing things that feel complicated. In fact, sometimes I welcome it, but when I'm working out, I kind of like to feel uninhibited, unencumbered. I want the clothing that I wear to just feel effortless so that I can move my body to its utmost potential and extent. And things that kind of make me feel restricted in certain ways, um, or just like annoying because something's falling off here or there. It's just not what I'm gonna reach for for when I'm really working out But that being said, this is super cute And again, I think it's just a really great top that you could wear just if you're going for a more athleisure sporty look It's adorable. It's of course like the other tops got its own little shelf bra in there So everything feels supported especially since it's a halter top So that really helps everything to kind of like feel lifted and good It's got this little belt thing that goes right underneath your bust that uh, can actually open and close, but you want it to be closed because when it's not fastened, this sort of off the shoulder part is not held as tightly, so it falls off more. But I think it's so cute. I love that it has like the little thumb holes just to give it that little extra touch. I also want to say a big, I'm so sorry for how pale I am. My legs are just like fully out there in their midwinter vampire state, so sorry that's what we're working with here but I also got this little skirt which I love me these little tennis skirts or whatever you want to call them that have the little this does have the shorts built in underneath unlike the dress um which I love I have another skirt kind of similar to this from a different brand but the thing about these is it feels really short like when you look at it straight on and you don't see that there's shorts underneath you just are kind of like whoa she's got a short skirt on so I don't really know what situation I'd wear this in like I, I don't know Maybe if I was like a cheerleader or something, but I just don't know. Maybe if I like slim down a little bit and I have a tan, I could wear it to the gym and feel a little bit more confident, but it just feels like a lot of my leg is out there and I just don't know how to feel about it. But it does have the little uh, pockets on each of the legs. So if you wanted to wear this to play tennis or to golf, it's really handy because you can keep your balls in your pocket nice and handy, uh, which is a great feature. I love that feature in the other things that I wear when we go and play golf. It just makes it so much easier uh, to play. Skirt is real, real short, but it does also, again, have that very cloud-like feeling of the fabric. It feels so good. And I also love that it has the little, again, crisscross in the waist. It really cinches your waist, makes it look nice and snatched. So that is the benefit, but yeah, I don't know. I, I got this in a small on top. The top feels a little bit tighter, probably also because it's long sleeved, but not the end of the world. I probably could have gone with a medium in this top just because of the style of it. I also got a small in the bottoms. And again, I think maybe if I would have gotten a medium in the bottoms, I would feel a little bit less self-conscious, but they still both really work. So just pay attention to their sizing charts on halara.com. And that is a great guide to let you know what size you need. These yoga pants, I'm telling you, I don't know what this fabric is, but it feels like an absolute dream. So I did not have a pair of flared, like, athletic pants. I haven't had a pair of flared athletic pants for a long time, but they're making a comeback. So I thought I would try some. And these are super cute. Now, here's the thing I'll say. I'm 5'7", and I think that they hit a little bit short on me. So if you're a taller girl... These might make you look like you're waiting for a flood to happen, like my mom used to say when I would get too tall for my pants growing up. So something to consider. Um, but if you're 5'7", it's kind of okay. And then if you're under that, you should be totally fine. Uh, but these are so comfy. Oh my god, they feel so good. And I love, again, they have this gorgeous, like, crisscrossed waist that just cinches your waist in. I think every single pair of bottoms that I got is that. So I don't, I don't know why it took me almost the whole video to realize that. But these, like the first pair, have like a little pocket in the back to store, I don't know, I don't know if my phone would fit in that, but definitely my keys, um, or if you wanted to like stick a card or your ID in there, if you're going to go out for a walk and you want to be hands-free, but you want to have, uh, you know, some form of payment and identification on you, you can put it right in the little back pocket. Um, and they're, they're so great. Now, the top, the top I'm so excited about because it is, again, so comfortable and very, very nice and supportive. I don't have to wear a bra with this, which of course, like I wouldn't really be able to because it's cut so wide, but it's in a small, like all the other pieces that I got in this haul. And I think small definitely feels good in this shirt. The last one, that was the only one that I kind of regretted getting the small because it felt maybe a little bit too constricting, especially in the arms. I think just the way that that fabric was, but this one, the fabric is kind of ribbed. Can you hear it? So something about it just feels a little bit stretchier, a little bit more forgiving. Um, and 
the small obviously like all the other tops kind of helps to like keep everything feeling secure and I love it I took the little pads out because every single one of these tops comes with those and I hate them uh, and I love also that it has the little thumb holes because that just I think when you can do that with your sleeves it just adds a little bit extra element of something cute to the mix and this color is just stunning I could really see myself using this at the gym probably when I'm like going in to do some weightlifting because I'm not going to do anything super intense when I'm doing that but I could also see myself wearing this just as a top with like jeans high waist jeans or like a skirt or something like it just it looks like a really cute top and the color is gorgeous and with everything in this haul they all come in like usually they all come in a bunch of different fun colors to choose from so love this now just switching the bottoms out really quick because I didn't order as many tops as bottoms but I wanted to get just a pair of their cloudful I think that's what they call them black plain leggings and again I love these they're so soft literally all these fabrics that they're using just feel like a dream but what I love about these black pants the most out of any of them is that they have the little side pockets which I wish more of their leggings that I got came with those like I find that the yoga pants that I have that have the little pockets on the side, I really reach toward those first because it just makes it so much nicer when I'm going out on a walk or going to the gym to just slide my phone in there and not have to have it, you know, in my hand or carry it around. It's so nice. So more people need to be making the pockets on the yoga pants. That's all I'm going to say. But these, they don't feel quite as high waisted as the others. And I find that I'm kind of constantly like tugging them up a little bit. So that's just my own little personal note, but they are a great pair of leggings. Again, they come in a bunch of sizes and I'm wearing these in a size small. Okay, final thoughts on Halara. I really am pleasantly surprised by these pieces. Of course, I can't speak to their longevity, how they're going to hold up over time, uh, but first impressions, everything is incredibly comfortable. I found the sizing to be pretty accurate and I loved just like the selection they had on their site. They have so many fun styles and so many different colors. And it just is so great to find great athletic wear that you don't have to spend a bunch of money on because I know I love Lulu and Gymshark and Athleta and all those great brands like the next person, but their stuff is pricey. And yes, it's fun to splurge on those things, but sometimes you just gotta get some good affordable things in your wardrobe as well. So I definitely recommend Halara. I think they've got some great stuff. While you're here, you might want to check out my recent Amazon affordable athletic wear haul. So are great and I'm obsessed with. So go check that video out next and I'll see you guys over there. If not, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.